Good day, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dissolution Plays. I'm going to be your one of the, the three hosts of the show. Let's say it's not just you. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's two other people, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you realise, but I was about to introduce you. Oh, sorry. So if you'd maybe like, <laughs> shh, you'd give me a cha- give me chance to do it. So uh, now that I've been rudely interrupted, I'm Pete. I'm Taylor. And I'm Sarah. Cool. So now that you know who we are, <laughs> let's uh, let's get down to uh, what actually happened in the last episode. Now, Pete, can you remember what happened no. in the last episode? <laughs> In the last episode, we met someone called Desi. We did. Or was it Desiree? It's it Desi. is Desiree, but she's called... Is it Desi it's Desiree? Des- Desiree. No. no. <laughs> it's Desiree, it's but De- Desi, Desi, Desi for sure. is his nickname for that her. That was yeah. it. Yeah. We met Desi, who is the accused's... Um, Wife? Yes. <laughs> Lover. <laughs> yes, yes, because... <laughs> Because there's everybody in here, nobody has like a normal relationship. No. They're either lovers or not related at all. So yes, pretty pretty much the the last episode was basically Phoenix in denial, didn't want to take the case, and absolutely. he took the case. I'm gonna say absolutely <laughs> was not taking the case until he did. Yes. yes, and then Pearl and Maya, well Pearl in particular, got very upset with him and said she'd never forgive him, but then she forgave him by making strawberry cake <laughs> and tea she and cleaning never. the toilet. And then, no, but, and then we no, but wasn't she, and then we learned that Pearl apparently has an absent father figure because in Karain Village it's a matriarchal society yes. and her father just kind of <laughs> yeah, hit we got, the bricks. Yeah, we got a whole like backstory of Karain Village and it's women, so yeah, there you go. Like, yeah, that weird, was pretty much it. Weird, weird things happened. Oh, and the, the, the sacred urn is practically worth like basically. <laughs> Sarah. I'm sorry, I've dropped the F-bomb That's bomb a right naughty now. language. <laughs> Family friendly, uh, that's gone out the window. So, uh, sorry, with man. that, on that bombshell. On that bombshell, let's jump back let's in. Let's get into this. And let's hope that somebody's been timing this, because <laughs> it'd be a good idea to know how long we've been. I've got an idea, so. Let's go. So, uh, Very sad, Adrian. Sad, Adrian. Yeah, she's feeling bad. Now, I don't remember what, uh, what, what, oh dear. I it was, it was basically, she was like feeling bad because the urn disappeared. She and... was freaking out, yeah. yeah. Was she was like, freaking out, she was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry! She's got, what I'm saying is she's got two dialogue options, and as we all know in the rules of a Phoenix Wright game, when someone has two dialogue options, that usually means there's another two to come. <laughs> and usually you would present evidence to them, yeah. Which will then, like, sort of, uh, you know, usher them to be more a bit, mm-hmm. a bit more forthcoming with said dialogue options. So, yep. do we start shoveling evidence at her? Well, or I, we I guess go we should. Else? Yeah, we pretty pretty much at the minute. She was feeling bad because the sacred urn was stolen. She had it valued, and I guess it wasn't could... worth anything. And she had to hire Detective Atme to take over security. I think that was pretty much the gist of what we asked her. Yes, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't remember what. Did she show us any of these items? Did she like the sacred sacred? No, no, no. We've had these for like the start. But the well. fact, but the fact that it's worth nothing was that. That okay, was it. You know that was it. in the last bit. Um, Ms. Andrews. I know. I know. It's all my fault. But what's done is done. I'll I'll make it up by making a new urn for you. Also, she's just, again, rolled up a hardcover book in her hands. <laughs> <laughs> that is how you, stressed she is. Are you suggesting is. that when you're angry, you don't roll up all of your hardcover books? <laughs> are, are, are we I'm just wasting my... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> I'm just wasting my time. She's too far gone. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Just like that book. You know what? Let's, oh, let's... wait, 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 oh. wait. Would she know about the, the photo? Because we've got a printout of... This? No, not the poster. <laughs> the thing at the end, that's that. That's not a photo. Oh, the um, camera data. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, printout. Sorry. Right, sorry. Because I'm like, I'm like that's, sorry. you said photo. I didn't like... know how to use a computer. <laughs> <laughs> what is a JPEG? <laughs> I'm like, that's not a photo. I didn't... This um... looks like, no. Oh. <laughs> it's... Nope, that's no. some looping okay. okay. I, just, I just wonder because it's got an entry for the camera going off. The the shishito? 
Mm -hmm. Ah, I think she 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 toe. Oh, I hope I spelled it right. <laughs> Maybe Apmi's back now. Maybe. Because he wasn't earlier. Oh. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh god, now I have to remember the voice. He's like, <laughs> oh, he's still not in this office. <laughs> Hello? Well, well, how lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Oh. oh there he is. <laughs> Welcome to my abode. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. <laughs> or the atmosphere. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, I slay me. Uh, uh, don't quit your day job. <laughs> Hurtful. Uh, um, we're actually kind of... Shh! Silence! Oh. <laughs> Precisely as I expected. What is? Zvari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. <laughs> it's freaking nice. A lawyer nuts. and a spirit <laughs> medium. Am I correct? It seems he's as forgetful as uh, Phoenix, it seems. It seems he's he literally met them. A little while ago. <laughs> and, and, and almost as forgetful as me. That's true. <laughs> um, I think we've already been through this. Damn. <laughs> ha! So my estimation was correct. Zvari? How truly elegant. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now then, what can I do for you? Just stay out of our way. Just, just, you know. I think so. I think I think we just better leave, guys. Let's uh, we'll yeah. just go back to the <laughs> yeah. office and. Uh... Yeah, that's that's enough of at me for one day. <laughs> Would you like to gaze upon my portrait? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good likeness. I to have see. eight by eleven glossy printouts I can <laughs> sign for you. Oh God. I ha I've got an, a warehouse full of them. In oh, fact, God. I could really do with getting rid of a few. <laughs> Please take some. Please you for your family, fam for your family and friends. For your family and friends, everyone should have a copy of Atme's portrait hanging in somewhere in their home. <laughs> Let it inspire you. Let the handsome uh, lines of my jaw drive you to greater heights of masculinity. Do you think he has to have two, like one of his face and the rest of it's his nose? You have to put it together. Uh, that's <laughs> like, mean. That's his, mean. No, his nose can't fit on one part. No, are you bit. jealous? No, each one has like a little, uh, sort of a little bit that you have to stick on the front, which is his nose, <laughs> like a three D sort of prop. <laughs> to Maybe. really get an idea for like how big his nose is. The real problem is with the action figure, right? Because <laughs> the action figure. Wouldn't really be able to fit in the box. He has a poseable nose. <laughs> well, no, it'd be like it'd be detachable, right? It'd be one where you have to. It's got like a. <laughs> it'll be some sort of horrific thing where there's his face and there's a hole where his nose should be, <laughs> and then somewhere in the box will be his nose as like a little add-on, a little peg that sort of slots in, and you glue it in place, and you know just so that it's packed down for That's transport. That's just terrifying to a child. <laughs> just well, this maybe gaping hole in a face. Well, no, it's just like a little peg hole. <laughs> But slightly skeletal, perhaps. Looks like an Animal Crossing character until you, uh, <laughs> yeah. you yes. put the nose in. Yes. And you mentioned before that you were on guard duty all alone last night. Precisely! This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I heard you've been after Mass Star de Mass since his very first theft. Yes, my dear. I see you've done your homework. In his very first heist, that vile thief pilfered the famous jewel, the Tear of Eminon. I first encountered him in the museum's sacred hall, the crime scene itself. So... That's why you were hired as security for the treasure exhibit. Sure. That's the reason. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said that Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes, I borrowed some equipment from Lordly Taylor and set the perfect trap. 
You must mean the security camera. But I thought you were watching the area yourself too. So how did Mask Starder Mask manage to steal the urn? That's the million dollar question. What is Damask's modus operandi? Hmm. Damask's M.O. <laughs> As opposed to Damask's B.O., <laughs> which is a separate issue. You smell him before you see him. <laughs> uh, well, as I certainly can, anyway. <laughs> I have a nose for these things, you know. <laughs> that's how he can find him. Like, that's how he's been tracking him all this time. <laughs> He's just been going, where does the I nose... I have a nose th like a bloodhound. <laughs> Believe me, the nose knows. The nose knows. Um, there's something that's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you like. Except for my if measurements. If my ravishing good looks are bothering you or making you feel uncomfortable, well, that's perfectly normal. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. I make many a woman quiver. <laughs> With excitement. <laughs> After all, we are all but seekers, wandering alone in the dark. Well, I was wondering how Mask Star and Mask managed to steal the urn. I mean, isn't it strange that you don't seem to know? Hmm. you please take your eyeball out of my face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. I mean, you kind of had one job and you goofed it up pretty bad. <laughs> and, oh, you know what you should have done? You should have done the safety save beforehand. That's what you got to do in this game. I don't know if you know, but you always have to do a safety save before doing anything. Because <laughs> you never really know when stuff's going to go sideways. It's true. After all, you were on guard that night at the scene of the crime. Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Mask Star to Mask. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. What is this? Oh wow! Psychilox. It's been a while since we had the psyche lock. What? What <laughs> is this what strange? The? What is this strange contraption that we have <laughs> never seen before? It's a it's a psyche lock. As a lawyer. I'm trained for this, and I know exactly what these are. <laughs> Psyche lock? I love that even Maya doesn't know what they are. Like, it's totally a pearl thing. <laughs> Damn it, and the nine-year-old's gone for a walk, and we don't know where she is! <laughs> she needs to explain to us oh, what they are. Oh, that was the other thing that happened. Yes. Is, uh, is Pearl decided to go out for a stroll by herself around the city <laughs> completely unattended, and she is a nine-year-old who has no real knowledge of the city, and no cell phone, and no way to contact any of them. Except so she does really know, just A plus child She care. does know the train route though. And she is <laughs> faster than the train. She's just running down the train tracks. She's that's all she knows. She's faster than the train, <laughs> and she knows the route. She's jumping from building to building, so, clearly. <laughs> so yeah, she's, oh, cool. she's probably just fine. <laughs> hey, Nick. What's this psyche lock thing? Just in case any of you guys watching don't know what one is. <laughs> Refresh. Well, your Magitama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. I'm not sure why it works for me and not for you. That's kind of weird. <laughs> see, look how surprised she is. She's like, you, you what? Like, wait a minute, Nick. No one ever told me this. Like, Nick, have you gone insane? <laughs> <laughs> it's like... <laughs> By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what those secrets are. What? This Magitaba has that kind of power? See, if it was any other situation ha in the game, Maya would have pulled the sassy face and accused Nick of being a complete idiot. Yes. <laughs> she would have th suggested that he was losing his marbles. <laughs> hmm. Maya, you're the one who gave me this Magitaba. Wait, what? Was she? Was it that? I, thought it I was think it was Pearl, wasn't it? I'm sure it was Pearl, because she's the one who told him about the psyche locks. But did wait, Ma did, a second. wait, did Maya give it to him, but then, like, to look after? Wasn't it like when she Maybe. was getting arrested or something, when she got took away, didn't she give it to him? And then Pearl... Like, Maybe that was what happened, and Pearl Maybe. explained how to use it. Yes, I feel like that was the thing, and I feel like Maya perhaps didn't know the significance of the magic oh, Maybe. But this is literally me just, like, hypothesizing. I yeah, I can't right. remember. Maya, you're the one who gave me this Magitama last year. Well, it's tr 
true that this Magitama is a prized Fey family heirloom, but... Pearly was the one that actually imbued it with spiritual powers, right? Okay, well, there we go. Uh, that's why I don't really know much about what it can do. It's interesting that... that oh, no, see, uh, all we had to do was advance the dialogue by two boxes, <laughs> and it would have explained all of our answers for us. We have a, we have a habit of doing that. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I also like that Pearly can just randomly uh, imbue things with, like, magical oh, yeah. essence. Now, as you will see on the wall, I have elected to use daggers instead of push pins. <laughs> and instead of a cork board, I have instead driven the daggers directly into the wall. <laughs> Now, some might say that this is wasteful, it destroys the documents that I'm working at, and also destroys the wall. But My landlord hates me. But However, do you know what I say to them? It is stylish and adds character to the room. And do you know what I so say to them? So to them I say, Fui! No. Zvari! No, I was going to say, <laughs> Zvari! Is what he would actually say. I've read that. Okay. This is the woman that's going to take over the crying channeling school someday? I mean, just look at yep. her face. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> so, how do you do it? How do you break the psyche lock thing? Well, we use a really hard karate chop. I say, we we, we <laughs> use this karate sledgehammer. Karate <laughs> <Good night> sledgehammer. <laughs> Well, you present the Magitama to the person with the secret. And they cool. look at you like that you're a crazy person. <laughs> oh, cool! I can't wait to see it in action! Come on, try it out! Oh boy. I think the future master still needs to learn how to be patient. No, I don't. <laughs> and we'll ask about the sacred urn first. Um, Mr. Atme, do you know about the sacred urn? Of course I do! <laughs> Did. Whatever your question is, I know the answer. You keep banging on about it, so yes, I do! <laughs> I'm interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is Mask Star to Mask. Like I say, this is just like some not sort what of he's, fanfic. Not isn't? what he's doing, not what, what the lives he has ruined in pursuit of his ends, but him <laughs> himself. And him only. I must have him. Oh my. He is mine and mine alone. Sacred urn? Poof! That has nothing to do with this case. Even though it literally does. Yeah. <laughs> but wasn't that what Mask Star to Mask stole this time? Maybe. <laughs> I am a hunter, sir. The urn was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. And you did a fine job of it, didn't you? <laughs> Do you yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw to pigeons? I think not. I don't think I like this guy's attitude, Nick. And I don't like your face, but you don't see me <laughs> saying anything about it now, do you? I was initially thinking that Nick was being really mean then, and then I <laughs> and then you carried on. And I was like, oh no, that's at me. <laughs> well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn. Okay. I'm too busy brewing methamphetamine in the background. <laughs> Unfortunately, as I have been unable to catch any criminals, I have to turn to making meth in order to pay the bills. <laughs> and to keep buying daggers to stick papers in the wall. <laughs> that cost really adds up, you see, because I have to not only plaster the hole after I've removed the dagger, but I also have to buy a new dagger for each for each document. <laughs> I imagine that he buys the new daggers but does not repair the holes. I imagine when he's done, he doesn't take the dagger out of the wall, he just rips the document off the dagger and takes them that way. So he's got yeah. loads and loads of documents with like a rip in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> but then he just leaves the daggers and all the landlords come up like, oh for God's sake, that guy. <laughs> Gotta repair this goddamn wall now. <laughs> So are we gonna are we gonna are we gonna smash this guy's uh, well, psyche? Let's see what, what he's uh, let's see what he's hiding there. Yep. Hey. I don't know if we'll have evidence, but I want to see get, what he says. I'm gonna get. Hey, look, Mister At Me, would you like a present? <laughs> take take my, that. Take my what present. What Just beans him in the head with the magitama. <laughs> Detective Atme, you were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Mask Star to Mask commit the crime. 
Well now, I can hardly see why you're so positive about that. I wasn't wearing my magnifying glass monocle. Yes, indeed, I was guarding the warehouse, that much is true. But I fell asleep. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was playing Candy Crush Saga on Candy my nine on my uh, old flip uh, phone. The problem was actually that I got a bit of dust on my magna mag magnifying glass, mag magnical, magnical, whatever you want to call it, and uh, it was very difficult to uh, remove as I had left my cleaning cloth in my car. <laughs> so I had to kind of just spit on it and rub it on my suit, Aww. and that just made it worse, and so I just kind of had to keep working at it, and then before I knew it, 30 minutes had passed. <laughs> I tried to wipe it off, and all that happened is I kept smudging it all over the lens. It just got worse and worse and worse until I could see literally nothing through it. <laughs> yes. I, indeed, I was gathering. The optometrist that. says I should get regular glasses so I can see like a normal person, but then that would just be less... Fashionable. But I, mean, I say is, to them, this is part of Zwilling! my look. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> but, but I can, but I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. Now, emerged from a crate, popped out of a statue, <laughs> emerged from a stripper cake. Uh, I can't <laughs> really testify cake. to any of those things. <laughs> That is an image I did not want. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I can totally see that guy doing that. Like, just an over-the-top, like, <laughs> instead of a Trojan horse, it's just a cake. <laughs> mm, I do love a bit of cake. It's, like, so obvious that no one would pay attention to it. Yeah. Because it's too obvious. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but this at-me guy is lying through his teeth. I know. I'll show him some proof. Detective at me, I have here the proof document. that someone went through that door last night. Yes. Da, 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 da. Oh, the music stopped. Take that! It's all good. There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. What? Oh. Mm. <laughs> like an accent. You are? Ne <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, nearly lost my composure there. <laughs> but, but my monocle didn't catch anyone in its flash. <laughs> monocle. <laughs> it must be some kind of computer malfunction. It, it must be. Nope. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. <laughs> so, uh, what? Are you saying that I didn't do my duty properly? Detective Atney, you must have seen the thief last night. Well, I saw blurry shapes that could have approximately been a human, but as I said, my monocle was smudged and I had to spend 50 minutes trying to clean it with my bow tie. <laughs> you said it was 30 minutes. I can't keep track. <laughs> The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. That's because uh, it's when he went round the corner for a little tinkle. <laughs> tinkle. <laughs> some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. Well, he doesn't want anyone to know that the camera caught a picture of his little dingleberry. <laughs> dingleberry? <laughs> Family friendly. Yeah. <laughs> His little hey, I've already dropped the F bomb. I think it's beyond family friendly at this point. Uh, well, you say that. <laughs> it's actually that his hairpiece is a toupee and it <laughs> came off. I, I think. I think you know that's probably quite likely, actually. Yeah. And I've got just the piece of evidence that should prove it. Uh, oh, it's we a two-parter. Have we? Okay. Let's suppose you didn't manage to see Mask star to mask. In that case, the reason you didn't at that time was because you were... Oh, oh <laughs> yes. fast asleep using the bathroom or unconscious. Oh. I, I, okay, you know what? Maybe my guess is, because there was that paint spilled everywhere, so maybe he slipped on the paint and clonked his head and got knocked out. Hmm. But, 
No, it said it was- I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me- Oh, no, he was knocked unconscious because of the shichishito. Because it yes. was bent. Because, yeah, the pain said it had been dry for several days. It had yes. been there a while, so it's not the pain. Yeah, it's the shishito. Oh. Uh, but, but, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Detective at me. See, it turns out his hair wasn't like that before <laughs> that day. <laughs> He's but then after the, after the shishishito sh sh uh, hit him on the head. Well, we selected the wrong option then, because I think we selected uh, the shishishito. Oh, no, we did No, we did say he was unconscious. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, but it, it we just went you, back. But he said you've got to put your money yeah. where your mouth is, uh, mm. select some evidence. Yep. Detective at me. You were knocked unconscious Ooh. by the thief, weren't you? Oh, well, that's a face. You <laughs> said acquired eye makeup. I, lo I, love, I love how it's just... Sweat dripping off the end of his nose. Well, I mean, <laughs> dignified. Makes sense. Ha 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 ha! Surely you must be joking. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> you think that I, Luke at me, could be knocked unconscious so easily? This sword proves it. Oh dear, Th that's. Oh, crumpets. <laughs> oh, crumpets. <laughs> Before the theft, this sword was in the hand of the statue of Amy Fay. Furthermore, at that time, it was not bent. Uh, uh. There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by this sword. Well, detective, how about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Boom! Da -da -da -da. Busted! Kaboom. Oh. <laughs> that, mu that music. <laughs> this is the beginning of the track. I can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say. So you were knocked out when the thief, thief first clobbered you? Well, no, you see what it was, was we were engaged in a life or death struggle <laughs> and then I accidentally tripped over my pant leg and my head may have collided with the blunt edge of the sword. It was not because I was struck, it was because I struck myself. Because you see, <laughs> Luke at me is not going to be struck by a thief. Luke at me can only take himself out. That's the way it works. <laughs> I must do it in the most glorious manner. For I am Luke at me. I have a reputation Clubber. to do. What an ugly way of saying it. But I suppose you could put it that way. <laughs> The coward struck at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse? No, the coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. There was a suspiciously large cake there, but I didn't think anything of it at the time. <laughs> Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. This implement of torture, this, 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 this aberrant sword shaped thing. <laughs> Ouch. This giant seaweed. Giant seaweed. Ouch. Mr. Atme should have his poor head examined. Yeah, okay. I have already that... examined myself, and I can assure you that my intelligence is untouched and unmatched. And that should have been done before he got hit with the sword. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, can... I was just going to say, the fact that, like, she's like, oh, poor Atme, he should get his head looked at, and she whacked Nick over the head with that. It's like, no, no, no sympathy for Nick. Not oh, know. well, someone got not whacked over the head with it. I wonder if it hurts. Kabong. <laughs> <laughs> no sympathy for Nick there, I see. You can say that again. How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? Well, you know what it is, is my spikes provide, uh, provide protection, much like a hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> I just roll up into a little ball on the top of my head. <laughs> Well, it looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Huh? What? 
that at me is the greatest ace detective in the world? Maya, were you even listening to anything that just happened? <laughs> uh, clearly not. No. <laughs> no, that he never actually saw the thief. Oh, that's right. So the thief may not even be Mask Star to Mask. Dun, dun, dun. Just one moment, Sir Lawyer. The thief was unquestionably Mask Star to Mask. How do you know? But you never actually saw him! Oh dear, pouty I face. smelled him. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Perhaps musk so. anywhere. <laughs> musk. <laughs> musk. Ugh. Perhaps so, but I installed a security camera for just such a contingency. Like a, what, like a security camera for the security camera? <laughs> oh. Last night, the camera went off exactly once. Behold! Zvani! This is a... <laughs> <laughs> Behold, this is a photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. Da, da, da. Oh, it looks rather smug. Th that's him. M mask started mask. Huh. Boy, it sure would stink if, like, in the past, whenever there's been a costume involved that obscures someone's face or presence, <laughs> it's usually wound up being somebody else that's disguised as the individual. <laughs> oh, well. The thief can be none other than the arch-criminal mask star to mask. It's not like you could just put on the mask and the hat and the <laughs> epaulets and everything else and pretend to be somebody else. <laughs> no, That's just not done. <laughs> After all, he has a very good reason for committing such brazen crimes. But what are you talking about? Mm. And what could his reason be? So, what did you mean by he had a very good reason? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. Oh, so he does know who he is. Mm. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. Uh -huh. You'll need to go and investigate. I would do it myself, but I'm busy <laughs> with something. But how would you know about that? Hmm. Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective to ever walk on the face of the earth. The most brilliant mind since... Well, never. Look at me. <laughs> Zvari? <laughs> Zvari? <sighs> well, I guess we'd better go take a look, just in case. Well, I guess we know where we're going. I'm going then. to ignore you now. <laughs> I'm just going to stare in this direction until you go. <laughs> like, Damask side out. Is, Am I doing the voice the same? I feel like I'm doing the voice differently. No, it's the same. No, it's the same. It's the same. Pretty sure it's the same. Sounds the same. Pretty sure it's the same. You're good. Don't worry. I'd say you're good. Yeah. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. I like to imagine that Damascus hideout is quite literally the next room. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it literally just walked across the hall. And yes, the reason why I know his identity is because he's also Hello. my next door neighbor. Hey, Nick. Oh, oh, the thing, the thing that we couldn't look yes. at before because we hadn't yep. gotten far enough yet. But now it's <laughs> completely fine for us to just barge in unannounced and start looking through. Because yes. Nick, because Nick grew a conscience and said he'd need a pretty good reason to open that envelope that's so clearly on show there. Well, now because we can. Nick, Nick, Nick had like a sort of a psychic premonition, <laughs> like, oh, I can't open that because it's obviously really important. Somebody might, somebody in the future might tell me that I need to open this. Maybe the plot also, needs to advance first. <laughs> I, I like that Maya is asking if we remember what was said when it was literally across the, hall. the previous screen. Yeah, like, literally well, across, across the hall. But guys, remember, Nick forgets everything. We need a flashback every five minutes. I mean, I remember what he said. He said that we should. Oh, that's a Actually, flash. If they flash back to what he said, oh, I'm going to lose my mind. I, I, I have a feeling it's there, but we'll see. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> no! Why? Just why? And of course, we Phoenix Wright just lives saw this. His name. He just fucking said that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that I. Call 
called it. I hate it. I hate it. Thanks. I hate it. <clears throat> Although I will never turn down more screen time. <laughs> exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes, as I have said literally less than a minute ago. <laughs> there should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. Da, da, da. You'll need to go and investigate. That's what we're doing. And then right after I've given you this directive, you're going to forget it. And then we'll have to flash back to this conversation specifically so I can remind you again. <laughs> A green envelope, huh? Looks like this is it. Okay, let's have a look. No, no, Nick, there's a bunch of other green envelopes scattered around the room. <laughs> if you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KB Security at 1 a.m on October 12th and bring $50,000?! 50000 This is a... B -b -b blackmail letter. It sure looks like a major clue, all right. Dun, dun. Written, Written with a fountain pen. Too fancy. Gee, I wonder what kind of pretentious individual might have a fountain Ugh. pen. <laughs> Ding, Ding dong. dong! Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take but a second, I promise. Oh no! Oh, I'm I forgot being, you were here. I'm uh, being kidnapped! <laughs> Help me! Lawyer man! Oh no! <laughs> oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. It's the plumber. Oh. Oh. I don't Who's know who this. Uh, when I see a damsel in distress. I, I would imagine this is at me, but I mean, maybe. When I, I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. It won't be though. Oh please, come on in. Oh, I'll make some coffee. It's Godot. Oh, it's gonna be Godot. Hey, oh, oh okay. So, so oh, uh, now I read somewhere that Godot uh, was supposed. To, I don't know if he was. Oh, he was supposed to be vaguely related to the guy from the last case. Who, Jake Marshall? Yes. Like, I don't know if he was supposed to be Jake Marshall or if Jake Marshall was supposed to kind of be like a precursor or some kind of relation in some way. Oh, okay. And so I, 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 I'm probably imagining this, but I, I seem to have some sort of recollection of reading something about that. So I'm probably going to use a similar voice. Okay. Maybe a little bit less. Hey, Norlin. Yeah, but I don't maybe, think you'd be um, quite as cowboy. I think you mean Bambina. 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 <laughs> but maybe something like that. We'll see. <laughs> uh, you'll just have to forgive me as I slowly but surely find my way into a voice. <laughs> uh, although it's just... <laughs> it's a, it's a, <laughs> really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. <laughs> really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. I can do, I can do it like that. <laughs> really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. <laughs> Oh, and, like then, and then the Disney Corporation has copyright claimed the uh, video. Yes. What corporation? Congratulations, uh, we've Disney now been sued. Wait, what? Co who? <laughs> I just made that voice up off the top of my head. <laughs> why would the Disney... Don't give them a reason to strike down our video. <laughs> I don't understand why they would, because that voice, I just invented it just now. <laughs> so they've got no reason to. Oh, boy. <clears throat> See now I'm feel I'm get oh dear me I'm gonna do such a bad. You really? got this. Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Although that's a little bit more kind of like Jake Marshall. Wait a minute, I know that voice. Oh, wait, he does. This is where it's not oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's gumshoe. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it 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 is, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Nicky boy, I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Ah, you, you are. Oh God! Oh, no! Oh, no! It's Larry! Oh my God! No! I didn't really imagine it would be no! him. And after all that flim, flimmixing. <laughs> I... Now you've got to try and be a Larry boy. I have no idea. Like, oh my God, pal! It was kind of like shit. Oh God! Yeah. Yeah, oh, like that. Nick, it was basically you yeah, and yeah. too. What a fluke. Uh, Larry? A long time no see! What? You know each other? 
<laughs> Nicky boy? Nick! Do, do you do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? Z something? If you uh, mean what I think I... I underestimated you, Nick. A gorgeous lady like this. And married too! Way to go, dude! <laughs> I knew it. Just when things can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the butts. Okay, now we have a flashback. <laughs> Larry Butts. Ever since grade school, he's been... The smelliest. <laughs> a pain. <laughs> student in the classroom. Paid in my ass. <laughs> Not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. Wow, Nick. Oh, jeez. I thought it was That's like... Good. I thought they were like best buds. Hey, man, that wasn't nice. <laughs> I was your very first client. Yeah, don't I know it. Oh, God, they keep talking in my internal monologues. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. We've got quite the storied history, he and I. And what we used to say, and what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> oh no. Is he gonna do the, the, hey, the sleeve flappy now. thing? You're oh, yeah. embarrassing me! And in front of this pretty little thing here! I say you two are all childhood friends? I see, that's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up at all times. I'll go check on my bike. If you know what I mean. You're just gonna leave your house with two strangers just, in it? I'm just gonna go. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna go straddle my bike. Uh, See you later. <laughs> oh, she's a nice girl, that Desi. So have you been, Nick? A lot better since you arrived. So have you been, Nick? <laughs> Too busy, if you really want to know. I didn't want to take this case, didn't want to, <laughs> said a million times I wasn't going to, and then Maya was like, No, take the case! And so I had to take it. What? Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Just why? Why are you here? Why? So, what are you doing here anyway? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I'm just a natural born nice guy, that's all. Well, actually, I uh, picked this up last night while I was waking. Waking? Working! working. <laughs> when did Gumshoe yeah, creep in there? Yeah, I picked them up there. while I was waking. Oh, sh <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Jeez. wallet? You say you found this last night? <laughs> yeah, it had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. I really hate doing Larry. <laughs> I hate him so much. <laughs> Hang on. Let me see that for a minute. Phoenix just takes the cash out and then actually starts looking in the wallet. <laughs> I knew it. Desi's picture is in here. <laughs> yeah, I guess he really digs his wife, huh? <laughs> I mean, I can't really hey, blame Nick, him. Hey, not what you're thinking at all! <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> oh, no way, man. I mean, <laughs> she's a married woman. That's just bad news. <laughs> I mean, you probably don't make enough money for her anyway, so... <laughs> I mean, well, he, he looks like a security guard, so maybe he does. Mm. Oh, that's right, they apparently get paid a lot yep. because they put their lives on the line. Yep. Mm -hmm. He really is here just to check out Ms. Delight. Should be Mrs. Delight, but whatevs. So, you said you found it at your job, right? But you can put Ms. It wasn't Miss or Ms. Oh, wait, we, we had this conversation yeah. last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah Ms. Ms. Okay. Ms. <laughs> yeah, I'm working for a private security company as a guard. And the security company that he's working for is the same one that's it's mentioned in the blackmail letter. <laughs> <laughs> Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know? A security guard, huh? So that's what that uniform is all about. What did you think it was, Dick? <laughs> Fancy dress? He just really wanted it. <laughs> so, what have you been up to this whole time? It's been two years since I heard from you. Ed, what's with those clothes? You look, well, weird. No. Hey man, that's uncalled for! This is my uniform for my part-time job! <laughs> but I can't believe it's been two years. They say time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> what? What's wrong? <laughs> Nick, I gotta tell you. Women! I don't trust him anymore! Oh, jeez. <laughs> you got dumped again? Uh, well, you know, Ben, if 
Agatha? I followed her all the way to Japan two years ago. <laughs> uh, that's uh, where I met the famous Caddy Tom, and my whole life changed. Uh... Benifer? Caddy Tom? I'd never heard of either of them. <laughs> Catty Tom. Really? I... Yeah. Like Tom, I'm not yeah. gonna say what I'm thinking. I'm more stuck on Benifer. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not gonna say what well, I'm thinking. That, that sounds like... That sounds like a Hollywood couple name. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, dude, I can't eat top just Hollywood over me. Can you believe it? Yes. Oh, that hurts. Well, actually, uh, anyway, sounds like you had quite a, the adventure. Oh, <laughs> women, <laughs> they're so so. <laughs> oh, but you're different, Maya. <laughs> you're not like the rest. This is like the uh, textbook conversation that happens before Larry starts calling women, like, because they won't date him. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. He's like a step away from becoming an incel at this point. <laughs> Looks like he's still the same old Larry. Wow, it. So, what time was it when you found this last night? Huh? Why are you, as why are you asking that? Trying to see if I've got an alibi? <laughs> yes. Um, you're not the one for- er, Um, you're not the one on the hook for a crime this time, buddy. Well, for now, anyway. I have for a, now, I have a until feeling. you eventually have to come <laughs> in as a witness. I guess. It was around one in the morning on the first floor of our company building. Uh-oh. What was Mr- Nicholas! <laughs> Nicholas! Put two and two together! <laughs> it don't what make What was five. Mr. Delight's- <laughs> Sorry, Taylor. What was Mr. Delight's wallet doing there? <laughs> anyway, there's nothing weird about that. <laughs> After all, he works there. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight? Sure, here, take a look at this. It's right here in his wallet. What's this card? Some sort of video rental shop? Nah. It's a key card for the security company. Jeez, you're such a dummy. Mm. See, it's got a serial number on it right here. And there's no mistake about it. Oops. It's Daisy, that's my bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you said you are working part time at a security company, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> why? Why? Why are you making that? Face. Mm -mm. This is just my expression. Mm -mm -mm. Security company, huh? Something's not quite secure about Larry working there. Uh -huh. I need to find out as much as I can about this key card. If only there was some way I could inspect it in the <laughs> court record. <laughs> this isn't, uh... This, this is, isn't, uh, oh, the one with Cole Phelps. This isn't, this isn't case five of, uh, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. <laughs> the only case in I which see. you can examine and rotate yeah. items in the inventory. Unfortunately, Emma Sky is not in this one. <laughs> no. Emma had to unlock the secrets of rotation with science. <laughs> <laughs> no, the secrets of, <laughs> with the secrets of Luminol. Luminol, yes. <laughs> Luminol. All of the Luminol. It was always Luminol. Okay, so I guess we're gonna look oh. at this card. Ah, very good. Do we do we show it to Larry? I don't know. Okay. Well, he just showed it up. <laughs> so you're sure about this key card? <laughs> yep, and that's the key card we use at the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. Hmm? You need to get into that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. Leaves a record? That's what I just said. Yep. It tells you exactly who went in the room and when. It's so secure. Gee. So, essentially, what's going to happen is Ron was paying his blackmail money at the time of the crime. Mm hmm. Because he will have used the key card to get into the CEO's office yep. to pay off the, the, the money while the crime was going down. And presumably, he's being made to take the fall for it because the CEO is either related to or blackmailing him or something. Maybe. Dun, dun, I'm an ace dun. attorney! <laughs> I don't need to solve this case, Larry, I've already done it! <laughs> I need that data! 
<laughs> Whoa! Slow down, man! <laughs> Sorry, but that data is off limits to outsiders. If I lost this job, I'd never have a chance with Desi, man. Well, Come you, on, well, give you me already a break. don't. <laughs> you said you weren't going there. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. It's pal. times like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. See, it was useful that I that we investigated sure. the key card. Uh, ah, I still got four nope. options. Mm. Three options. Uh, yeah, sorry. Still <laughs> not had his fourth option. Is what I meant. Uh, Detention center? Do we go see Gumshoe? Oh no, not not. Uh, or see Ron, maybe. Ron, yeah. To ask why he was he was there at one well, of the yeah. morning. Actually, actually, why don't we go back to Luke and confront him about the blackmail letter? Oh, we can do. Sure. And then we'll do the rest. Because he was like, here he is, check out the envelope. <laughs> What? What? But you told what? us about what? it! <laughs> what? 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 Go I'm ahead. sorry I can't be more helpful, even though it was I that directed you to do it. But I have no in- But- Oh. What's <laughs> <laughs> What? You literally just told us to go and find it, gave us a flashback, and now you don't care? <laughs> <laughs> what? But I have no interest, save that of finding evidence against my art rival. But it But that's literally what this says. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Nah, it's okay. Nick is just a bit of a piddling evidence hog. That's his defense style. Where's that shichishito? I'm gonna start whacking people. <laughs> Starting with you, Maya! A, a piddling evidence hog, you say? In that case, I'd simply be wasting my breath. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks, Maya. Why couldn't you have said I was a rival and not a piddling evidence hog? <laughs> okay. Well, great! Well, great chat. Awesome! <laughs> great chat. Uh, see you later. Uh, off to Nick to is just center. silently fuming with rage right now, <laughs> like me. What do you mean, silently? <laughs> I just, I uh, love this. Well, guess we're uh, not going here. Uh, Bugger. Uh, Adrian? Maybe she's calmed down? <laughs> maybe. I don't I mean, know. does she know about the security? I don't know why she would. No, guess not. No. Uh, <laughs> nope, never mind. I mean, Still makes, freaking I mean, out about it, everything. I mean, it makes sense. I don't know why she would have any yeah. idea. Basement warehouse? Yeah. Basement warehouse? No. Bug it. Oh, it's gonna be one of these. <laughs> I guess we have to finish talking to Larry. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that must be it. But yeah, he's a bit suspicious of him working for the company. So. It just feels a bit kind of dumb to be like, Hey, look at the wallet you just gave us. You didn't touch anything in this wallet, did you? <laughs> hey, man! Be serious! <laughs> you know what I was interested in. Oh, boy. <laughs> and she's on her bike. <laughs> if Mask Starter Mask doesn't look out, he's gonna be the victim of a robbery himself. <laughs> oh, Larry! Larry! <laughs> That's gonna sound so gross bad. over the mic. <laughs> I know. Okay. Uh, 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 dig a bit, a bit, a bit. Uh, oh, oh, the note said something about the KB building, though, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Maybe we could, yeah. Oh, what, here? Boom. Yeah. Hey, Larry, what about this? <laughs> what? What? If you've got something to say, then say it already! <laughs> uh, huh? Uh, blackmail letter! Oh good, I thought that that was going to be like the generic evidence denial thing. Yeah, me too. Do you know anything about this? <laughs> what? what? I, I don't know anything about Alexis! And that's a trope! Oh, who's Alexis? Oh boy, psyche lock time. <laughs> Uh-oh. Huh? What? I can't believe you did this to me! I thought you were my friend! <laughs> oh, God. oh boy. $50,000! I don't have that kind of money! <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. This blackmail letter was sent to Ron Delight. 
Phew! Man, you scared me! I almost had a heart attack, you idiot! <laughs> Wait, I'm the idiot? <laughs> oh, man! I was totally confused because it says KB Security. You know, the place that I work. <laughs> right on the envelope! <laughs> um, yeah, so what? Yeah, that's where I got a that's where I got a part-time job. Whoa, I've got a weird accent all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, he works at K Globe B. It's true. <clears throat> <laughs> that's where I got a part-time job at KB Security. What? What? Maya, why? How can this, why are you, this why can't is this be a surprising? Revelation? They've literally told She's, he said in like three different dialogue options that that's what he's doing. Uh, she clearly and he's, wasn't paying attention. He's literally wearing the outfit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not obvious at all. No shit, Sherlock. S <laughs> Sounds like I should really find out some more about this KB security company, but who do I know that works for them? <laughs> oh well. Guess it's a mystery left unsolved, and now there will be a dialogue option, Got right? It. Yeah, there we go. Yep. There we go. KB security, the company in the blackmail letter. <laughs> 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 Who mm. okay over there? Who, who look, wrote this? You look, who the hell wrote this? You're looking a little bit, uh, you're looking a little bit red. A bit swollen, puffy cheeks. You okay? I just want to reach through the screen and kind of just grab Nick by the neck and just shake, shake him. him a little bit. <laughs> Nick, wake up! Maybe also, maybe also Larry. Just cause. No, I just want to slap <laughs> Larry. Shut up! Yeah, yeah. KB Security, the company in the blackmail letter. You know about it? <laughs> That's where I work, yeah! <laughs> it's, I told you like five <laughs> times, but okay! In fact, <laughs> in fact, if you check out my breast pocket, you'll see I'm on the job right now. I'm even wearing the logo. Huh? So, what are you doing here then? No one's paying any attention to anything that is being Whoa. said in any of these dialogue <laughs> options, and the more it happens, the angrier I get. Just like me. Well, the boss is away right now, and you know what mice do when the cat's away? <sighs> Meow. <laughs> yes, yes. Anyway, how far away is this company? Uh, let me see. Uh... About 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, if you fly down the road, anyway. I mean, you know, because, I mean, you can fly, right? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lordly Taylor, right? And it would take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. If Ron Delight was at KB Security when the robbery occurred, then... Whoa! Then he couldn't have stolen the sacred urn? Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> oh boy! Once again, we found ourselves in a situation where a person that was wearing a costume for a particularly notable individual was actually someone else disguised as that individual! Oh my, that's- This has never happened before! No, never ever in the whole of Phoenix Rise has this happened. <laughs> Are you suggesting that these games repeat themselves? No! What's the soul? I do love this game. I do love this game. It's just, but a lot, mostly love. A little bit of hate. <laughs> mostly love. love hate relationship. With occasional hate thrown in. <laughs> but mostly love. Hey, Nick! We're just gonna let the phone ring. <laughs> yeah. That I wanna hear answer. the Steel Samurai theme. I think you mean it's the, uh, the Nickel Samurai. Or perhaps it's the Pink Princess. Alright, well, it's looped now. Yeah. Hey, Nick! Your phone! Beep. Oh. Hey, wait. How does she get a phone? <laughs> uh, how does she know how to use a phone? How did you guys? Did how does she know Nick's number? Have you guys heard of phone boxes? <laughs> well, true. A what? <laughs> What's a phone box? <laughs> uh, hello, is this the right residence? Ah, pearls. Where are you? Man, I guess we should have probably kept track of you or asked where you were going or <laughs> given you something to actually indicate where you were, but oh well. Uh, I thought I'd go to Lordy Taylor to try and find some more clues, but I'm afraid I've gotten lost. 
Whoa! Oh, whoever could have predicted uh, oh. that letting a nine-year-old wander around a city by herself that she's not familiar with <laughs> would result in her getting lost. <laughs> what? Give me that phone, Nick! P Pearly? Where are you right now? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't be lost now, would I? <laughs> um, I was walking along and found myself in front of that person's office. That person. That person? Who? Um, that person who doesn't act his age and always sways <laughs> sweary when he's excited. Oh, so you're right. So you're opposite us then. <laughs> you're literally across the hall. Oh, you're next door. Luke Atney, Ace Detective. I love how like Nick's had to say that, like, like just to clarify, <laughs> like, like we'd forget. Like, uh, hmm, who have we met who says something stupid? Who has a stupid catchphrase? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, Nick is one Real person with a stupid one. catchphrase. He has the whole like when something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> well, yes. So that's two p two characters with a stupid catchphrase. <laughs> So, hmm, this is difficult, though. Mm. Nick could have met himself. Met himself, his huge or self. Or maybe, just maybe, it was this other guy. <laughs> maybe. Is Maya's catchphrase hamburgers? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's let's eat. Let's I'm, eat. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> you're, let's, get, let's eat. You're paying. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, stay right there. We're coming to get you. Like, we probably should have done the first time. We're literally stepping outside the door to, to get you. <laughs> All right. I, I, I'm a little scared. Can't you hear us on the other side of the door? Like, you're literally right outside. <laughs> beep, beep. He puts the phone down on her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go, Maya. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even notice. Yeah, like, I, help. I, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Beep. Beep. Hang up. <laughs> like, I don't care. Don't want to hear it. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait a second, Nick! Wh what? That phone call just now sounded like a real cutie! Oh, Larry! No. Larry, no! Bad, no. Larry! Bad, no, bad, no, no, bad, no, 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 bad, no, bad, no, 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 no. stop it! <laughs> no, no. Let's not... uh, special friends. Let's not go there, Larry. Larry, I am actually going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Maya, give me the shichishi toe. I will literally citizens arrest you right now. <laughs> Say goodbye to Ms. Delight for me, would you, Larry? Oh, I will. Don't worry. <laughs> just wildly, wildly inappropriate. So if we just step outside across the hall back to Atomy's detection agency. See, there we go. Yep. Step across. Boom. Oh. But was before that, that, we do that... Was that bag on the table? Uh, no. I don't think it was. Although, I think Luke was standing there. But... But, before we find out if we can see Pearl, we're gonna have to wait till next time. Ugh. <laughs> oh, gosh darn it. I'm afraid that's time, guys. I'm gonna have to call it for today. So. So. It's been great. As always, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Yes, Indeed. hopefully you had some fun with this. Uh, we've enjoyed doing it this time. It's been good fun. Yeah. And if you do like what we, if you do like uh, what we do, then uh, be sure to smash. Sorry, I got really distracted because my watch started vibrating, and I'm like, "What the hell's going on?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> it really, it really threw me. <laughs> Completely surprised me. I'm just gonna turn that off. <clears throat> So, uh, anyway, if you like what we do, uh, please be sure to, uh, to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, ring the bell. It really, really helps the channel, so... And do the dance. Oh, yes. <laughs> and do the dance. Oh, yes. <laughs> Gotta do the dance. Chestnut. I'm sorry. It's gonna be done. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, with that, I guess yeah. uh, I guess that's us done. Yeah. So, Until uh, next time. See you next time, guys. It's... Have fun. Take care. It's Have been a an honor. Or morning, or wherever you are. You're ruining the bit. Sorry. <laughs> it's been an honor and a privilege, Your Honor. Bye for now. Take care, everyone.